Dar es Salaam is one of two capitals of Tanzania. The second, Dodoma, is located deep in the heart of the country. Both capitals are necessary in order to spread the influence of the government in a state that is three times the size of Italy with 33 million inhabitants. Though as often happens in many developing countries with areas of severely poor inhabitants, there is a tendency for the population to seek refuge in important urban centers such as Dar es Salaam or Dodoma. Though as a result of this migration, a type of nightmare is created. The neighborhood of Kinindori, which has over 100,000 inhabitants, is one such example. During the rainy season, cesspools spill over, flooding the shacks where children live and play and surrounding them with nauseating stenches and decaying garbage. The only remedy is trying to avoid the migration into cities by tying the people to their land. This process will contribute to the economic development of the country, and we, the European Committee for Agriculture and Training, or CEFA as we are known in Italian, aim to provide our technical and organizational experience to facilitate this process. Poverty and malnutrition are the causes for a high level of infant mortality, contributing to the spread of respiratory diseases, intestinal worms, AIDS, and malaria. At CEFA, we aim to stop these problems. Our team started at the Southern Highlands and headed towards the province of Najumba, almost 800 kilometers from Dar es Salaam. We crossed the valleys of Baobabs, crops of agave, mimosa fritanin, and eucalyptus. Here there is a tradition of farming and ranching, and with the introduction of foreign capital, a more hardy cattle species has appeared, and with the new technology for artificial insemination, this population of cattle has the possibility of achieving even higher yields of milk and meat. Successes are encouraging, such as in the area of Najumba, where farmers organize themselves into the association Engolifa, a partner of Chefa. Through this association, 700 head of cattle were provided. In Tanzania, there is a great disparity between those who own many milk cows and those who are not as fortunate. But in spite of this difference, people combine their assets to create model farms that use biogas for kitchen and daily house lighting. All the livestock has been vaccinated and counted thanks to the veterinarian from Casaleccia di Reno, Bolognese, Chiara Spicciolelli. Today, it is Tanzanian veterinarians who work on the program. The project aims to replace traditional zebu cows with the hardier Frizone and Brune Alpine species. Because of this project, there was an increase in daily milk yield from 6 to 7 liters to 16 to 18 liters daily. And with more milk being produced, there is also a surplus that has to be stored and pasteurized. Thus, the dairy factory of Najomba was built and a movement started that will improve the eating habits and consequently the health conditions of the local population. This is also Africa, even though it is distant from the images that evoke burnt savannas, deserts, and dunes. In the southern highlands, rain is abundant and the rivers reduce the heat that makes other areas of Tanzania semi-arid. The rivers descend from the mountain ranges that separate them from the Great Lakes. The river stream can be tapped to produce energy, just as been done in Matembe, approximately 70 kilometers from the capital of the district, Njomba. This plaque reminds us of a time 20 years ago when under the guidance of Chefa, the small power plant was created. Small and efficient, but enough to transform the economy of the village. John Kamunga speaks with pride about this project. He was a guest of Italy to study agriculture, having been chosen by his village, and now is the director of an organization that manages different initiatives. In addition, he is the local right-hand man of CEFA. This dam was built between 1982 and 1986, and it was inaugurated in March 1986. I was involved with the development project and the training of the inhabitants of two villages, Matembe and Magi. Initiatives of this project comprise a fodder mill, a poultry pen, and an incubator. I was also associated with the Catholic mission of Matembe, where there is also a dispensary where the church carries out its activities in primary and secondary schools in order to improve the living and work conditions of the inhabitants. Here, provided you have brick walls, tin roofs, and non-flammable materials, you can have electric light in your house. This village has progressed significantly. In this area, Matembe is a point of reference, whether from the commercial point of view or from the point of view of the services it provides, sanitation, training and education, and the road system. All this is thanks to the presence of the power plant.